Instagram, but you're gonna be like, oh yeah, he has a And I got all my sisters with me. Jackie, happy that it's Friday, happy that we're nearing a holiday, just ready to get to the weekend. Awesome. So I was, we're starting off like a minute late because I, Keith, this is the first time Keith is not here in the studio. And Keith, Keith what is going on? You. It's barely my third episode. Why are you not here? But we're not late, Jackie. I just want to say we're a little more seasoned right now. <laughs> well, that's a great way to put it. Because for some reason, I we can't hear the music. Like the music, the intro that just played. We yeah. Didn't, we didn't hear it. Mm -hmm. um, I can't hear anything on the YouTube channels. I'm going to play something really quick for our listeners. Let me know if you can hear it. If you can yeah, hear it, tell box. me what song it is. Do you hear it? What is that song? Name that song and we'll give you a million dollars. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. If we had a million dollars. In Monopoly money, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. I couldn't hear that, but I know it's playing. I just don't know why I can't hear it in my headphones. He heard it? Okay, oh, thank you, Keith. I appreciate it. For some reason, it's not in my headphones. Hold on, let me see. He says, turn line in. What do you mean? Where's the line in? We are learning as we go, people. <laughs> and that's what the week is all this about. Is on air. I'm trying to figure things Reality out. Yeah. In the making. Progress, not perfection. Okay. Line in, line in. Uh, is it on the mixer, Keith? Is it on the mixer itself or is it on the screen? And you all listening get a free little one on one, one how, how to run a mixer, how to run a radio yeah. show. How to run a radio <laughs> show on the low. We'll bring this back after our year anniversary. We'll talk about this day and we'll laugh about it, y'all. He says the line in the plug. Um, there are a lot of plugs and there's a lot of lines. Well, hopefully Dash gets here soon and he can help me with this. Uh, for now, we're not going to hear what's going on as far as the music. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Sandra said she couldn't hear it, but Keith said he could, right? Is that what I saw? Let me see. Well, I just want to know if you can hear me. No. No. We have you muted. We have you but muted. But we can still hear it. Visual. We can still hear you. Your mic is not muted. Not there. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm not going to yell because I don't want to be muted. Are you done? I, no, don't mute me, but I'm, I'm done. Yes. Okay. I'm done. All right. Hey, guys. Introduce yourself since you're on the mic. Everybody knows me, Crazy Maria. Yes, that's not going to be my <laughs> stage name. So everybody comment in what you think my name should be. La Vecina <laughs> oh is a good runner up. I know, Maria always said I should be called La Vecina. Yes. Are we going to make a whole show about finding your name, really? <laughs> yes. We can start it off like that while you find the song <laughs> way to turn on. <laughs> it's your girl, Mysterious <laughs> Jax. You are listening to Ladies Night Radio. This is episode number three. I am excited to be here. I'm sorry for the crazy intro. I was just a little uh, worried that you guys couldn't hear us so as long as you can hear me we're good the music <laughs> i hope you can hear because uh, it makes the show that much better but we're just gonna have to make it work until dash gets here of course he's late uh but oh, while no. we have our other uh guests you can introduce yourself uh say what's up to the people hey everybody is luis cerritos like the like the mall yeah my yeah. family owns it. No, not really. <laughs> Cerritos uh, Mall. Yeah, yeah. Wish. He's yeah. a baller. He came in his Lamborghini. <laughs> Ladies, he's single and handsome. Whoa, whoa, I will whoa. put can, a picture of. Can he say he's single? <laughs> well, I'm just saying he's sitting next to me. My tia oh. is very excited about Maybe. it. I am very. I get excited when I see Cerritos. He is my daughter's teacher. Should but we, uh, <laughs> Should we move you guys? I was like giving him a hug and patting him down. That's why she sat over there. That's why she sat over there. Should no, I separate you two? We are not going to raise her grades. Okay. <laughs> yes, Anna, Luis is here. Can you believe that? And sitting next to me. So I'm going to be the, 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 the you last week, and I'm just going to keep on hitting him, but it's just going to be open arm, just touching on these uh, biceps. Can you stop? You're going to, can you stop? I'm going to put up a wall, or I'm going to okay. separate you two. I'm going to stop before I get muted, but I do want to give a shout out to Sandra and Yareli. Yareli say, I hear you, Chavela. Okay, I don't think she said it like that, but um, all right. <laughs> no exclamation marks, but that's just how I figure she said it. All right, sounds like a plan. So, um, Luis, do you want to say, uh, put your Instagram out there real quick so people want to put a face to the voice? It's uh, If you want, you don't have to. Yeah, Would you rather not? It's fine. Okay. I, I, I could do it. It's okay. L underscore Cerritos. 
Yes, and so uh, Cerritos is here because he, uh, well, Luis, I call him Cerritos. I don't, I don't. Yeah, Cerritos is fine. It's fine? Okay. Yeah. Um, he's here to get a male perspective on today's topic, uh, which we are going to go into later today. But of course, of course, we have to start the show with one of my favorite topics is story time. Yay, Yay story, story time. time. Story time. Story time. Just a little, you know, while you're listening to us, getting ready for the weekend, just enjoy, sit back. (laughs) So I have a lot of stories, but I was like trying to think of one today. And um, actually, my sister uh, Maria was the one that told me I should say this story. So um, only because I should feel very grateful because it's Thanksgiving and we're giving thanks and I should give thanks that I didn't die in this story. Um, So... (laughs) This is a story about the day that I got dragged by a horse. Uh, by yes. A horse. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's like so... one of those scary YouTube videos you watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you laugh and you can't help it. Uh, that's hilarious. Okay, so, um, okay, we're going to start off with, this is, this is, it's not as serious as it sounds. It's, it's going to be a funny ha 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 kind of story, but it could have easily gone really bad. So this story, um, is took place when I was like probably like 10 years old. Um, oh, and just FYI, this story is going to include one of my siblings. Uh, this story is going to include my brother Rafa. And so I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but I come from a big family. There's eight of us. I'm the fifth child. Eight. So I'm right in the middle. Me and Anna are like the middle, uh, children. And Rafa's uh, my younger brother, one of my younger brothers. I have three younger brothers. Uh, But he's the one right after me. And he's only about, like, a year and a half younger than me. Um, So we are in Ensenada. We go to Ensenada every summer. That was, like, our vacation. We would be out there for, like, a week or two weeks, right, Maria? Like, two weeks, maybe? And we would do everything out there. Uh, And, like, go to La Bufadora, eat fish tacos. They're the best fish tacos ever. They're in Ensenada. Oh, my God, mariscos, all of that. Um, and as a kid, you want to do the fun stuff. So one of our favorite things to do in Ensenada was go on the horses. It was like our favorite thing. And it being um, a lot of kids, my dad would like pile up two kids on her, a horse, you know, save that money Get where you, you can. Bang for your buck. Bang for your buck. So I, of course, uh, being the older one, sat in the front on the saddle and my brother Rafa sat behind. And at this time, like I said, he I'm 10, so he's about eight and a half. He's not that much, uh, you know, younger than me. So we're on the horse. Everybody's getting on their horse, so we're just waiting. We're, like, one of the first ones to get on the horse. And all of a sudden, um, in my if you know Rafa, he is such a jokester. He he is, like... It's almost scary. Yeah, he, like, even now, if you meet him, he jokes and pranks you and just loves to, like, mess with you. And so even at that age, he was just, a, like, a jokester. Uh, so he was like, hey, Jackie, uh, do you want me to pinch the horse's butt? And I said, no, Rafa, please don't do that. <laughs> but now we know you are. Right. And, like, I've been on the horse before. It, like, I'm not a pro, but I know, like, the like the easy, like, basic things. You wrap your – well, at least I did. I would wrap the rope around my hand because that's the way you control it. If you want them to stop, you pull back. If you want them to turn, you pull the rope towards the area you want to go. And, like, you know, and if you want to, like, go, then you kind of, like, you know, you know, let the rope a little loose. But I had it tied around my hand because I was like, I'm in control. I got this. Like, you know, you think you know what you're doing. And um, we're still waiting. We're by the beach. So we're uh, right next to the beach. We're on the sand. And everybody's getting on the horses. The next thing I know, he's like, no, Jackie, I'm going to pinch the horse's butt. And he's just like laughing. And I was like, don't do it. Please don't do it. And like I'm like trying to control. Slow motion. I'm trying to control my brother. At the same time, I'm trying to control this huge horse. And so I'm like kind of nervous, but I'm excited because I, you know, I get to drive the horse, whatever. And so the next thing I know, he's like, I'm doing it. He literally pinches the horse's butt. Like not even a pinch. He grabs it and 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 like turns it. So he pinches and he turns it. Tell me why this horse literally jumps up. Throws his uh, legs up. My brother goes flying to the, uh, the off the horse. So he's done. He's on the ground in the sand. And the, the horse just takes off. Like, it literally just goes, like, running, running full speed. I don't know if you've ever been on a horse full it, speed. It doesn't want to be touched on the butt. And I, right. Exactly. Don't, don't pinch the horse's butt, please, <laughs> people. Don't do that. Because you're going to be flying like me. I've never been on a horse that fast. Like, I'm not a professional horse rider. Like, I don't do this. Like, I barely, it was probably, like, my fourth time ever on a horse. And so now I'm, like, have the rope wrapped around my hand, my wrist, and literally I'm bouncing with this horse going full speed, and I don't even know what to do. I'm, like, pulling the rope. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. And I'm, like, oh, my God, I'm just praying. The next thing I know, as I'm, like, hopping, I'm sliding off the horse. Like, I'm literally sliding off the 
freaking horse until I am completely off the horse and I am just being dragged along on the horse. My hand is still caught up in the rope. I am going as full speed with this horse next to the beach. All the sand and like water is like just getting all up on me. And so I literally somehow was able to get both of like my hands up there and I was able to get out of the rope and just finally like kind of dove down like into like a fetal position and just kind of covered my head and the horse just kept running. But luckily, like one of the kids that was like helping us get the horses that lived in um, Ensenada, he was on the horse and he was going full speed right next to us. He was trying to get the hold of the horse. I just somehow got off that horse, let go, and he was able to stop the horse like uh, probably like another like half quarter of a mile. But like they, everybody like was like cr- 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 screaming. My mom was like, "I swear that horse was about to like crush you, crush you, because you're yeah. literally right next to the horse. The horse is like running as I'm falling. Like I could have easily fallen under Underneath, the horse, yeah, and then stomp. the horse's like legs just stomped into like my stomach or whatever or my head. And somehow, you know, my guardian angel, baby Jesus, was there and watched over me, and I was not, I was not crushed by a horse. I just want to say that Anna said that it was a funny sight to see. So <laughs> I was right. It's like a YouTube video where that shit is crazy, but it's funny it's, when it's not you. It's funny now that I can laugh at it, but just in that moment, I was really scared. I really thought I was gonna die. My mom was worried because I'm yes. telling you, like, that's a story that could have easily gone bad. really bad. Mm-hmm. Luckily, we can laugh about it now. I'm here. I'm grateful that I did. Not not die and Rafa to this day I would never get on a horse with him ever again even now so nowhere nearby don't shout, be out touching to my, butt. shout out to my brother Rafa he is still just as crazy um and it's so funny because he actually just got a pony for his daughter I was <laughs> like where I should have been there on time so that I could pinch that horse's little butt oh, yeah. <laughs> see her little butt fly oh, don't say that he would not hey, found I'm just knee. I'm just kidding Alyssa. I'm just kidding I wouldn't do that to my knee <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, that's hilarious. But we are grateful that nothing terrible happened and you are here. Yes, thank baby you Jesus made for it. that. Um, yeah, that's pretty my my story for today. Story of the week. Story Kathy says it sounds like a novella scene. Yes. <laughs> All dramatic. I bet you it was like a two second thing, but it felt like forever. It was so dramatic. For real. Your mom screaming in the background like, ah. Well, where was my charming prince over here to save my day? Right, at the end, right? The family was recording and laughing in the background. I'm so glad they didn't have social media back yeah, then. Or, like, phones to record you. Oh, my God. I, they would be playing it right now for Flashback Friday today, like, for that video. <laughs> Throwback Thursday. Remember that time Jackie got thrown by a horse and dragged? <laughs> All I That's remember is both of you guys were hanging off the side of the horse. No, he jumped. He thing. got thrown off right away. Well, which one was it? You or him that was holding on on the side of the horse? Me. Oh, God. That was me because he was in the back. He wasn't in the saddle, and his hand wasn't in the rope. So he flew right off because the horse literally jumped up on two, and his, you know, it was just crazy. So shout out to you, Rafa. You made life interesting. So I have four brothers, and, you know, they are also a big part of who I am today, and they definitely made me tough for a lot of the crazy things that they put us through. So shout out to my bros. Yeah, yeah. So Sue says she has something also similar, but she has a brain damage over this that her sister has to remind her of. She says she was also bucked by a horse when she was a kid. So we need more information. Oh what do you God. mean? Were you literally thrown off or were you also are we, are we calling the Are we calling the cops? That's crazy. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go into uh, game time. Game time. Woo! Woo! But bef- Sorry. before we do, before we do. <laughs> Um, shout out to Dash. He just came in the building. Hey, Dash, hey. say what's up. What's up? He made it. Hey, made guys. it. Late I'm like here. usual, but T-G-I-F. he's here. T-G-I-F. He said my Friday. Friday. We love me some Dash. <laughs> Aw. Tell people where they can find you on Instagram. Oh, they can find me on Instagram at S-E-N-O-R underscore D is in dog. A-S-H. Yeah, senior underscore Dash. <laughs> so shout out to Dash. He actually just became a recent uh, DJ for Playhouse in Hollywood. Oh, thank so you. So shout out to you. shout out to Dash doing wow. the thing. You did it. Thank you. A lot of tiring nights. So I'm giving you an applause right now, but you can't hear it because for some reason the line is not in. Can you come help me with that? The line hey, in. Right. Hey, Dash hey, in the see? house. Yeah. Now he's like, I'll now you're thankful happen. I showed <laughs> up. <laughs> But, but while he's m- me and Dash are taking care of that, we're going to go ahead and start off with the game. We're going to do truth or shot. So we're yes. going to go ahead and start us off. Uh, Maddie, do you want to go first or do you want to have Luis go first? Oh, you know, what? I'm going to go first just so that we do can it. show our do guests it. how to do this. It's a fan favorite. I'm going to hit you with hopefully a rated G question. <laughs> Hold on. If what? you're listening in, please uh, comment in on the comment box. So yes. I can go ahead and give you a shout out. 
Let me know what you think. Let me know how you answer the question. What was the last thing you cried over? Oh. Honestly, let me think. The last thing I cried over was the fact that after work slash school let out, I was forced to go to a meeting. So there was one tear that was shed. Luis, it is now your turn. Thank you, Mari, for sharing that. All right, so do I just pull the popsicle stick? Yes, you can't look at the questions. You are pulling a popsicle stick. We have your shots ready. If you don't want to answer the question, you have to take a shot. Okay. You have to read it out loud. You have to read it out loud. Kathy, right. I didn't drink, so right. it says, <laughs> stick it. Oh, man, this is a hard question. Who in this room would be a the worst date? <laughs> oh, don't you wow. look to your right. Don't you <laughs> look my, to your right because I'd be a lot of fun. My I'd the be right. like Shamora. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, if you don't want to answer, oh, Luis, you have to take you, a shot. Can you repeat that one more time? I want to make sure I heard it right. It says, who in this room would be the worst date? Dang. All right. Oh, Myra. Man. So you can either answer. Okay. You can either answer this honestly uh-huh. or you can just take a shot. Okay. Well, I know Mari and Cozy pretty well. <laughs> yes. Because we, so. we work together. So I won't have to face their fury, fury tomorrow, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Forever. <laughs> I'm not going to have them in that list. <laughs> we have parent teacher uh, conference coming up. Yeah. Wow. Maria's going to th- wow. be a scandal. I do your reviews. I'll be like, uh, where's your manager? You <laughs> <laughs> For no okay. reason. Okay. I can't argue with that, <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> okay. Wait, you're the big name. Yeah, you're the big Jackie. Susan, say yourself. Hey, she played dirty, but <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. He obviously doesn't know me, Farfan. Farfan's in the building. Farfan, say what's up. Thank you. She got my back. We've gone on dates. Tell him, Myra. Yes, she's such a fun girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's because she paid. That's because she paid. No, tell him. Tell him yeah, how fun is. I am. Yes, yeah, she is. She takes me everywhere. Jackie's I, holding I her, her hand, and she's like, tell him. I'm sorry? I took her to her first strip club. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> there wow. was only one stripper. Wow, Luis, you're out of here. <laughs> mute him. Mute him. All right, Myra, you're next. And I say the question and then or answer it or take a shot. You could have just taken a shot, Luis. I'm first sorry. of all, you should have just taken the shot. <laughs> I'm a little mad that you it. did. We're going to make him take a double shot next time. <laughs> uh, what's your biggest turn off? Oh. Um being called the worst date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Okay, this, is, this is petty. This is really petty. Uh-oh. But yeah. I, uh, I really dislike when people misspell stuff or yeah. use bad grammar. In text. Oh, text. Yeah. yeah. Even when they, yeah. It's just, I mean, it's super petty. I'm like, you didn't even try yeah. on that text message. You must not like me. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Uh, you is spelled Y-O-U, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we, me and Dash were over here trying to figure out this uh, sound effects, but we still couldn't figure it out. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, can, can you put another chair right there next to Myra's for Dash, please? We got a full house in here, y'all. I love it. Yeah, That's what water. I'm talking about. So, Jackie, to your defense, Yareli said, Jackie is a great time. <laughs> <laughs> How much did she pay you? That's my family. <laughs> she knows. Hey, she knows. Her some if you're related, it doesn't count. That's my family. Sarah, oh, yeah. I know I would not be an expensive date. I mean, do you guys think I would be an expensive date? I don't know. Nobody say said anything. Nobody said anything. Maria, that was not the question that people are asking. Stop making up your own questions. Yes. Hey, <laughs> Maria's trying to subtly make it into our segment. Seriously, what is going on there? No, 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 no. So nobody wants to take shots, I see, huh? Nobody shot. wants to take shots. Oh. Oh, wait, Dash has not wait, gone yet. Yeah, he is gone. thirsty. He is parched this <laughs> evening. <laughs> Dash is like me. Dash loves to drink, so we can drink. <laughs> so a shot is nothing to Dash. All right, all right. All right. Uh, let's see where we at, where we at, where we at. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How many sex toys do you own? Oh! Now, now, just because the label didn't say sex toy doesn't mean it's not one, so... Wait, Wait, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> if you're counting, you're counting. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Like my well, babies? he has toys that don't have labels on them. Yeah, we don't, yeah, just because it doesn't have a label. Oh. So even if you're like, I don't have any sex toys, just because when you bought it, it didn't say that, doesn't mean it's not one. Ah, oh. I see. Ha ha. Yeah, some of y'all just 
are starting too like, early. Oh, like like socks, it. you mean? Yeah, like potentially, socks. right? Maybe like mm, socks. My but socks go on my feet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. They should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but nah, uh, I would have to say I'm a pretty boring person. Very wholesome. So I have zero. 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 But you can still take a shot. Yeah, yeah still we want you shot. to. I'll take a shot for having zero. <laughs> there. That's hilarious. I really hope you guys can hear the music because I'm definitely playing music in the background. Not you, not you. Oh, I'm talking okay. about the listeners. We care for the listeners. Okay, were you asking, were you going to answer a question? Oh, okay. I pulled a stick. It says, if reborn, what decade would you be born in and why? Um, I think I would be in the Stone Age. The Stone Age? Yes, let's close. Oh, yeah. Let's close. Be able to just. You really? Know, That's your reasoning? Like there's no Love hygiene. It. Run free. Yeah. Well. That's true. I don't know free, if it mattered free back the, then. Free the everything. Yes. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> all right. I guess I'll answer one. Did everybody else answer one? Yes. All right. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, pick one. Kelsey's in the background taking pictures of everybody. Oh, mm -mm, okay. Who is the worst dressed? Um, I don't even have the... Luis. Luis is the worst dressed. Oh, see, Jackie. Oh. Now Jackie's just mad. <laughs> I'm going to be petty. I'm going to just say Luis. Jackie, it's the holiday season. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling her. Tis the season. I, I put a lot of thoughts in this outfit, too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The back of his shirt says, I love Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> it better. Shoot, it better. How are you going to say I'm a worst date? That's so sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, let's go into the next topic. Oh, yeah. I hear that. You heard it barely, huh? You can barely hear it. <laughs> barely. I don't know if you guys in the chat can hear it like, completely, like loud, or barely hear it like us. We have some people that say they can hear it, and then we have some people that say they cannot hear it. Oh, man. Well, that was a bell, and that bell is for dun dun dun, dun the next segment, Here which we go. is. Today's topic, which is why I brought two fellas into the Ladies Night Radio Show today. So, fellas, thank you guys for coming and your Friday night. Yeah. Yes, I know that Luis um, didn't play a soccer game to be here. I appreciate that. Uh, but he's going to go play his second game at 9 o'clock, right? Correct. Do you want to give your team a shout out? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, we're not. Don't, don't, no, no, don't, yeah, come, yeah, don't yeah. come watch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Send good vibes, though. And then, yeah. Dash, you going out tonight? Uh, now I'm in the house tonight. Oh, really? Oh, because you're saving your energy for tomorrow. For tomorrow. For Brian's birthday. Yes. He oh, likes wow. birthday party tomorrow. At, at the Playhouse, right? Yes. If you guys want to go to Playhouse tomorrow, um, hit up Dash. It's about to be insane. It's going to be a good oh. time out there. I won't be there, but it's still going to be a good time. Yes. <laughs> Great night to forget with all the alcohol. Right. Exactly. So tonight's topic, we are going to talk about uh, two things. We're going to talk about why some women prefer having male two days you hang out with them you guys go to the movies you go get starbucks you're hungry they've seen male friends mm -hmm. um with Madi, i'm gonna start off with you because i know last time you said that you prefer having male friends why is that i think just experience wise like even in high school or in middle school days it just seemed like girls were very quick to be clicky and i and i i didn't have negative experiences but it was more like it just seemed that way and moving around to different schools, it was just easier to click with guys who just, for me, seemed like they were more easygoing. I mean, sorry, Luis and Dash, but like y'all had minds somewhere else. So it was more fun and just easygoing. So for me, it's always been easier to connect with men and just like have a good time because I also have a lot of brothers. Um, so I've always preferred male friends. Okay, so it's not, so you didn't have an actual bad experience with w girls, right? Or you did? No, I've never really had like a negative, negative experience with women. It's just that I've always preferred and like found like a better energy right away from like men, right? Um, which we can get into later because obviously there are women out there who say men only want to be friends because they want something from you. But my experience has been not that. Okay, and what about you, Meyer? Like, have you ever? Um, do you have more male friends or female friends? Mm -hmm. I will say it's probably even. I don't have too many. I probably say I have a couple male friends. Um, but I do believe that men and women can be friends without being romantically or sexually attracted to each other. You really think so? Yeah, absolutely. So if I was to call one of your male friends right now on the phone, would he tell me that he is not attracted to you? <laughs> exactly uh, so, okay i don't know so on your half and, and this is where i where i say that 
women have control of the friendship. Women uh, set that tone for to have the platonic friendships. And I think that when you have a male and a female and they're good friends and they're going out and they're hanging out, they're going to do happy hour, they're doing uh, movies together, they're going to Starbucks, they're going to eat. Yeah, for, for a guy to spend so much time for a female, either, I'm not saying like they're all of them, but like majority of them are either gay and they really do enjoy that girl or two, they're just really trying to get out of the friend zone and eventually convince her to see mm. him on the other side. I don't think, not all the time. See, I had a conversation with two guys before I came to the show. And they're uh, your, both your friends or just yeah. random guys at work? One of them is an ex. <laughs> but, uh, but he has, I mean, they've had female friends who they look at or treat them or ha- more like sisters, have never had that vision or even thought of them that way. A lot of those girls are either dating one of their friends and they're actually pretty good. You know, they have good relationships, but they've never crossed that line or had that thought. Right. So I think you can just depends. I mean, and they're all attractive people. Right. So, um, yeah. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. What about you, Dash? What was the question? Because that's when I stopped replying to the text thread when you was like, oh, Oh, um, <laughs> do you think that there can be male and female friends? I mean, male and females as just friends and not one or the other being attra- physically attracted to them emotionally or sexually? I believe in the in men and women having platonic relationships. Yes. I do believe in that. But has, has the thought ever came across? Okay. 100%. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, 100. I agree. Yeah, the, <laughs> yes. You might have thought about it. Most of the time, yeah. 80% of the time, it's the guys that have that thought. Even sometimes the women have that thought. Like, I wonder how it would be if we dated. But I think a lot of the times you, as women, decide to not ever have that line cross because you see the benefit in their friendship more than you do of dating them. And yeah, you could date them, but then you automatically think, like, if I date them, that's it. Our friendship's over. It's not the same. Even if we say, let's go back to being friends, it's never going to be the same. So a lot of women choose to keep them in the friend zone because it's like they they really do appreciate them as a friend and they want them in their life. So they know that if they date them, that's it. Like, it's over and it's not going to be the same. And then you just lost a good friend. What about you, Luis? What do you think? I see you over there kind of agreeing, but then kind of disagreeing on some things. Uh, yeah, there's a few things that I disagree. But um, overall, I, I, I would say no. I don't think uh, two friends who, who hang out all the time like can be male and female and just be platonic. So you you're saying no. No, I'm saying that it can't. Happen. You don't think that men and women could be like a, like a best friend pair? No. I think um, I unless yeah. un- interesting, unless you, I mean, unless they're like both like homosexuals and mm-hmm. like there's a, fem- a female. <laughs> and a male, I think if there's Extremes. attraction, I think there's gonna be attraction there, yeah. whether it's attracted to pers- their personality, mm-hmm. which a lot of males are attracted to, and like that's how they choose like their next um, uh, mate, as, as you want to say it, but. Right. Um, as uh, as far as just like being friends, like I don't think so. So, so you don't have a lot of women friends. Yeah. That's think, what I was gonna ask I you. Think, Do you have any female friends? I think I have a lot of female friends that I hang out in groups. Okay. Never like one on one. And and question: Do you, are you attracted to any of these females that you hang out with? I think yes. So you've thought yeah. about dating them? Yeah. Okay. Or. I think- the other thing with like, be, are you attracted to them? Is like, do you just find them attractive? And I would say like, if you're my friend, I naturally feel like you're good looking, just because like. I'm attracted to your personality. You mm-hmm. are my friend. There's something about you I like. So I'm always going to tell people, like, oh, this is my friend. Like, isn't he so handsome? Isn't he so good looking? Like, I'm always going to feel like my friends are good looking men, let's say for my male friends, just because, like, I got love for you. Like, I see the best in you. So I see that beauty in you, if that makes any sense. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, uh, that makes perfect sense. And, like, even like for guys, when we notice a woman or, Sometimes the number one thing that'll drive us to walk up and even talk to a woman is something that's physically appealing about her. Right. Like that's what'll catch our attention. So there's nothing there. It's like nine times out of nine, we're probably gonna, you know, go the other way or oh hey, how you doing? Just keep it pushing. But yeah, like a lot of times it's for us it's something physically attract uh, physically appealing that'll have us slide in that first word. Mm-hmm. So So do you have any female friends, Dash? Yeah. Like friends that you hang out like every two days? Oh, every two days? No. Or every no. three days? Or weekly? In college, I did. Yeah. Were you single? Yes. 
Because you're not single right now. I'm not single right now. Does how, that make a difference? That's what I was going to say. Does your, How does your girlfriend feel? Like, Did you let go of a lot of your female friends because you got in a relationship? A oh, couple. No. Oh, I mean, no. a couple. <laughs> but, you know, because... Why? Wait, 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 wait. Exactly. Before huh? we before you go on to that, why did you let go of those friends? Huh? Why did you let go... Don't uh uh-huh me. <laughs> you know what I said. Oh, uh, uh where uh, am I? <laughs> Why did huh? you let go of some? <laughs> why did you let go of some of those female friends? Um, just because after you got a girlfriend. I mean, just because it was. I mean, just because it was for the like, it was for the best. Um, but let go. I would say I let it fade off or drift. Okay. Because I'm not for me personally. I'm not type like, hey, like that's it. Just like cut you off. Like that's kind of a little bit like extra. So for me, it'll just be like, okay, not talking anymore, not hanging out as much. But at the same token, I'm hanging out with my girlfriend a lot. We're always talking. So just my time is directed elsewhere. It depends on the type of friendship yeah. you have. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it definitely depends. Women. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, my thing is, like, if that was really your friend, and I'm thinking, like, even my girlfriends, and if I feel like I needed you in my life for support, when I get a significant other, I shouldn't have to drop you. Like, you're still, I still need whatever you were giving me anyways as support. But if I mm-hmm. let you go when I get a significant other, it's almost like, Oh, like I, I really wanted something else from you, but now right. that I got it from someone else, so I'm not gonna. I think that level of friendship is probably not. I mean, maybe I think the way that the men value their friendship with women is probably different than. Ooh, well, let's ask him. We have two right, gentlemen right, right here. Why? Because mm-hmm. no, 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 and, and I'm not trying to offend anyone, but no. I'm just saying Do I'm it. not a huge believer in like, oh, like I don't have a huge close male friend that I can call and say hey or hang out with every other day and go to lunch or whatever. I have my friends that if they need me, they'll give me a call and you know, we'll chat or whatever, talk about our problems and things like that or catch up and go to lunch. Mm-hmm. Um, and I really value that friendship and it's not something that I would ever want to let go. Um, and if I were to be in a relationship with somebody else or somebody, period, I wouldn't let it go because that's a friendship I actually value. So, and I don't have many of those because those are important to me. And when guys start letting girls go that were their quote unquote friends, right. I don't think the value is there for them to keep them in their life yeah. when they get a girlfriend. Because if they were worth them having them around, they'd introduce them to their girl, or it wouldn't be odd. I so mean, which happens. I mean, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, like, have you had a friend? that a girl that's a female friend that's valuable enough to you to that you would right keep right. her if you kept if you got in a relationship no yeah definitely i mean whenever like it's not i mean it's not like once i got a girlfriend okay like that's it it's only us it's just you know every like a, a lot of things that i would do like with my friends even friends that are girls where they're just hanging out company coming over watching tv going to movies going out to eat things like that I just do with my I do with my girlfriend now, so it's not like okay you're not useless we're just not hanging out. But if we're in a so like once every time we're in a social setting, my girlfriend's there. Oh hey this oh hey this is Vanessa Vanessa this is so and so. Yeah. And it won't it wouldn't be awkward. So that's. Yeah. How, and how does your girlfriend feel about like the female friends that are in your life? Yeah. Oh. Do you guys talk about that? No, not no, not really. Cause it's because I mean just like for me personally in general. I'm not like in college. I was everywhere, always right. out there. But now that we're, but now that I'm older, I'm here in LA. I'm more so, like I'm more so to myself. Mm-hmm. So unless I do go out, I just, like- yeah, I just want to say though, like I think it also is a big impact that we're in LA in a place where, like, let's say our friend is actually like super good looking, maybe like let's say a super model, mm-hmm. but we just are friends with her and then we get a significant other, but because our friend is a super model, it might throw out insecurities into my relationship, so I figure like let me cut it off. And I think that that has to do with like a lot of the gender stuff that goes on. Like can we really have friends? Like what does that look like on social media if we have friends and a girlfriend Wait, that's you the said same cut gender? it off though, but cut it off with who? With our friends, right, or a quote-unquote so our friends. So you would, you would stop being with your supermodel friend because you would not have a boyfriend? I guess. I mean, I wouldn't. The friendship, yeah, exactly. Like, the well, trust. I'm not, I just want to say that, like, K- Kathy from the Bay points out that she says, I think that females and males can actually be super best friends and not want to be with each other in a relationship. But I think that it's harder for heterosexual people to do it because they think about gender too much. So I'm wondering, like, how does that change? Like having the same sex friends when you're in a relationship? You know what I mean? Like, how much should it really matter? 
But if you but have but, but uh, female, like you just said, you just said it yourself. Female friends will let go of female friends once they get in relationships. Like fr- people, when people I've get seen in, that happen. yeah, when, when even like guys, like if they get in a relationship, that's it. They cut not that they cut off their guys, but now their whole focus is on a girl, and they don't yeah. even put time with their friendships anymore. Yeah. And that's a whole different issue. That's not healthy. That's debatable. That's not healthy. Yeah, that's that. No, I'm not saying I'm not yeah. saying you should do that. I'm saying yeah. I've seen that a lot. Yeah. Where once you're in a relationship, that's it. You're and your friends are are no more. Yeah. No more. And I've but seen then that you too. break up and you're like, wait, where are my friends? You're like, yeah. well, you dropped yeah. us once you got a, a partner. Yeah. yeah. So that's I've seen that's girls not that's yeah. not being a good friend. Though. Exactly. I've seen girls drop all of her friends, be in a relationship, disappear. They break up, and we like we 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 in college. We all know that she was single again. She was, oh hey guys, how's it going? Right, like nothing ever happened. Right, and folks are like, oh you're alive. Right, I'm like oh you're okay. single now. Luis, do you feel like that's true? Like with maybe some. Are you that person yeah. that once you get in a relationship, you kind of just stop hanging out with the rest of the people that you were hanging out like on a daily or weekly? Um, at first, yeah, like because it, it's the newness to to when you have a girlfriend. But right. like after a while, like once things like become a little bit. <laughs> I think um, I start seeing my guy friends more and more. Right. Yeah. But it's, it's never like I cut them off completely, you know, but I do put more focus on like the girlfriend. And and I'm going to say this from a person like I have a lot. All, most of my friends are in couples like they're couples they are married. They're engaged. Um, I'm actually going to a wedding next month for my friend, for my guy friend, my my friend Will. Shout out to Will. He's get, he's married. Hey. Um, yay. December 8th. I'm going to be there. Um, and he was my guy that we would hang out. It would always be like him, me, and Anna. He would come over, we'd watch movies, or we'd go to the movies, we'd go eat. He'd be like, Jackie, you want some fun? I'm like, let's go get some fun. Like, so we were like the singles in the group because there's a group of us, and most of them are married. And Will was like my single friend, and I was a like single person. And and like, and like so now that he's gotten married, like I can see, obviously, um, and it's it be, before he got engaged, we also kind of got distant just because we all kind of got you, life happens. You get yeah. caught up. But we would make it a point to at least call each other, like checking in, like, how are you doing and stuff like that. If you're still making that effort, that's fine, because I, my best friend who's a female, she lives in Sherman Oaks. I see her maybe once a month. But we make it a point to at least make time for each other. She has three kids. She has a family. She has her own business. I'm, you know, doing the radio show. I'm working. I'm doing a lot of things over here. But we make it a point to at least see each other once um once a month and today's at her actual birthday so i want to give a quick shout out and happy birthday happy to cynthia birthday. happy birthday bff i love you i love you i love you i will see you tomorrow we're all going to turn up tomorrow and i'm going to put it all up on social media as you can see but um i literally we make it a point to see each other and i've known her since we were five years old and um a lot of my guy friends i've known them since the sixth grade seventh grade eighth grade and i still know them and just like myra was saying if they're your true friends and they have the true genuine friendship and they respect it, they're going to introduce you to their girlfriends. They're going to introduce you to their wives. So all of my guy friends right now, shout out to all of them. They know who they are. I've I've met all of their wives, their girlfriends at the, well, they're at the time. Now they're their wives. And 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 I was in uh, their weddings. I was like, you know, I go to their baby showers. So I am that female friend to them, but I'm also giving the respect to their girlfriend. So if you are the female friend, you have to remember, women know how we are. So you have to kind of go in there into the friendship and let them know, like, we were just friends. That was it. And you give them that full respect. And you don't call them anymore after a certain time. Like, before my single friends, uh, guy friends, I would call them, like, any time. After 10, after I would get home from a date, I'm like, oh, my God, you have to hear about this date. It would be, like, 11 o'clock or whatever. After they have a, uh, in a, in a relationship, it's just an unwritten rule. You have to give that respect. You can't call them after, like, 9 o'clock anymore. You can't call them anytime you want. You can't just you know, be all up on them. If they were, if you were like your hug buddy or whatever, like you can't do that. You have to give them that respect and create that boundary now and give the respect to their partner because that's what we have to do as women. That's why I say yeah. women set the tone in every friendship. And that's, and that's what like, in, if you're males, your guy friends yeah. are engaged, have, are single or are married. You are the one that sets the tone as the woman. We have that control. We have that power. I would almost say this, though, I want to be like the devil's advocate as far as like cultural stuff for me, like because our friends become our family, like, right. And you will eventually become like my cousin, my primo. So if you know, like I do receive phone calls from my like friends, my male friends after a certain hour and I'm like with my significant other, it's really never been an issue because they know like the love and respect that I have for those kinds of bonds. We are family. Like if you're calling me at midnight because you want to talk about something, it's not it's not an issue. There's no insecurity about that. Like th- my significant other knows 
I value my friendships and my 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 relationships so much. It's like it, it's just not an issue of insecurity. So I'm almost wondering, like, do our stakes do our friendships with the opposite gender really depend on like societal norms like who we're with and their insecurities dash you gotta look uh, you gotta something to say uh, i dash. mean it's just it has to be the strength it's kind of like this sh- it's like the strength of the friendship right like for example like even dating back to like you have all your friends in high school y'all graduate from high school y'all go to different colleges your real ones will stay you all will stay connected Friends that you weren't so close with, you'll talk here and there, eventually drift apart. Same thing in college. You have your group in college. Once you graduate, everybody's going their different ways. The ones that were real, like real, real, like you've had those long talks at night, you've had the sleepovers, talk on the phone one, two, three in the morning. Once you graduate from college, those friends will still stick with you. Once you get into a relationship, you know, you have your group of friends before your relationship. Once you get into a relationship, then I feel like that's when roles start to drop off, like kind of like kind of like how you said. Right. Um. The real the real friend the real friends will stay. Those yeah. will be the ones that you know will eventually meet to uh, get to meet your significant other. Mm-hmm. For other friends that you have, there's you know no ill will, no intent, but yeah. the late night visits will you know will cease. Right. Not not like I'm that. Just well, <laughs> depends on what day been of the week. The window anymore? <laughs> right. <laughs> the window is closed. Like you know. Right. Like other friends, you're not you know, uh, you're not calling when you're bored. You're not calling late right. at night. Exactly. You're not showing you know PDA you know like that you know so, like all that ceases not because they're not your friends no more, but because you got into a relationship and that significant other is more important. Exactly, is more important than that level of friendship that you have with that person. So you, I've seen you and your girlfriend, and you're re- you guys are really good about like you're really good about including her in a lot of your events. Like anytime you have gigs and stuff, she's there right there supporting you. Mm-hmm. She's come to all the good news events that we used to do, um, and she doesn't live close. I think she lives far, right? She lives yeah, she's in uh, Ontario. Ontario, yeah. So you know, for her to make that drive and stuff, that says a lot. But you have you do a really good job about including her, and then you introduce her to like everybody, like um, like your guy friends, your girlfriends and you know anytime that like she's come i like you just do a really good job about including her in in that but how would you feel um or does she have male friends yeah and you've met them i've met um uh, i've met some of them but it's kind of like it's kind of like how what i just said like once we, we got in a relationship like all that kind of faded but it but what, what faded like their friendship faded um i mean not necessarily their friendship but i guess like they either, like don't hang out as much or, you know, it's kind of like the roles, like, drifted off, in a sense. So were they, like, well, it's because my okay, question well, is, we're, like, were, were they really friends or were they just yeah. acquaintances? Because my friends, yeah. I still talk to them. They're yeah. married. They got kids. I still go to their – I was just there at the park uh, celebrating the twins' birthday party. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like shout out to, like, Billy. Like, they all still include me and stuff in there. And, like, I'm part of their family now. Yeah. Like, I, I'm that girlfriend that's a single girlfriend that, that was – and they're all guy friends. And mm-hmm. I ma- became friends with them and their wives and their girlfriends. And I go to their kids' parties. I take their gifts. Like I'm, they, some of right. my friends call them me Thea and stuff. And like, right. you know what I mean? Like, so or auntie and stuff. So like, you have to like question like, was that really your friend though? Like I mean, for you to let somebody close, go, then that doesn't really yeah. sound like a friend. Well, to I mean, me. the the close. I mean, that's the thing. her her close friends I've met because her close friends like are almost like family friends. Like if they're her close friends, her family knows them knows them so those are so those are the only ones i've met everyone else who's like a friend or like just an acquaintance if we're out in public like we're at the mall we're out or wherever we're at um if she so happens like when we're out there if she so happens to bump into them uh oh hey how you been blah blah blah. oh hey this is my boyfriend damon damon this is so and so okay so yeah like i'll still get the introduction yeah so yeah that's yeah in, like introductions that's never Never really been an issue. Okay. What about you, Luis? Have you ever had been in a relationship where your significant other had like um, hesitating male friends? Yeah, I'm like hesitating for the intro. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I've been in those relationships. Like she was like, "This is just my friend," and he was always around, or he would always be with you guys, or he would be on a coffee date. With I guess never, never to that extent, but um, it, it, I guess they were really, really close friends. And then, like, she met me, and, like, she started drifting away from him a little bit. But she would still try to include him, but not to, to the extent that you're, you're, you're talking about. But, like, why did she stop including him in, in like, 
hanging out and stuff out of respect for you or because you asked her or you what know, was the reason? I, she never explained it, and I, I don't think I ever, ever asked. I, th- I just thought that was the norm, you know? And okay. it goes back to, like, what Mari was saying. Like, is, is it, like, society, ex- like, expectations, like, that society has put, like, that people... Yeah. Well, it did, so you never told her, like, uh, why do you hang out with him so much or anything like that? No. No? So you would be okay if your uh, your partner had, like, uh, male friends? Yeah, I'll be okay. Um, like, what's I, not okay? Oh, he, he said wait. No, he said wait. No, that's good. But, yeah. like, what, what is not okay for you? What I wouldn't be okay with is if they're hanging one-on-one oh, it's more so- than, they be, than she would be would be with me one-on-one oh, okay as long as it's not more than sh- so like if she sees you three times a week but she only sees him twice a week you're okay oh see okay He's smiling like, maybe, and maybe, that smile says hell nah maybe like once a week <laughs> okay okay <laughs> if she's hanging out with me three times then like one time right but two is still a little, a little i mean i just close. wonder because i think that i mean everybody's different everybody yeah, has different so expectations different. in yeah. their relationship. in their relationships so mm-hmm. i think i mean as long as you guys communicate that and talk with your partner of what you guys would like and what's what's respectable in your relationship then that's that's all that matters like we're not here to judge i just like to hear different perspectives and different relationships i will say this though there, there are some people like where you feel like oh yeah we got a cool relationship it's genuine but that you may also know that even though you want to keep it platonic, that that person wants more from you. So just because you're like, oh, no, like I'm platonic with you, you knowing that they want more from you, it to me seems a little bit like oh, that's a little shady. Yeah, it's a little messed up. Yeah. It's a little shady. On. Leading them on, but also like it almost feels like you keeping them around yeah. for like. Your I don't know for benefit. what. Hurry. Your own benefit. <laughs> yeah. So I just read, I was trying to read some uh, the things in the, the chat room, and Ashley Chapman, she says. She doesn't think I have friends. Well, that that too, <laughs> wow. she says, Dash, do you have friends? And Dash says, yes, <laughs> yeah. I have friends. But she also said, you shouldn't have to cut off friends. And if your friends, quote unquote, drift off, they weren't right. really your friends. So I think that um, that is true. I mean, you really have to, as we get older, we... When we're younger, we throw the word friendship a lot around. Like, we throw the word friend around. Like, oh, that's my friend. That's my friend. Mm -hmm. And even older, I started learning, like, I can't just throw that word around. Like, when people were like, oh, that's your friend, I'll be like, sometimes, oh, that's an acquaintance or that's, like, you know, my coworker. But, like, yeah, we want to just throw that word friend. But a friend, a friend friend is someone that you, like, fuck with, like, all the time. Like, they are your person. They... I'll call him, like, you know, like, sometimes, like, I won't see Myra for, like, two weeks, but, like, we'll be texting or, or, you know what I'm saying? We check in when we do see each other. Like I said, my best friend, I see her once a month at least, and she lives in the Valley. So you have to make that effort to to continue that friendship. And I know that sometimes we feel guilty because we're not being good friends. Like, you know, I definitely, like, for example, I'm going to use my friend Raina as an example, who I love and adore. She just had her second baby, and I'm a bad friend because I still haven't visited her. So I feel, like, Eddie and Raina, sorry. I, they're both my friend, uh, Eddie and Raina. Um, and so I have that guilt, like, because I feel like, like, I'm not being a good friend. And so when we recognize these things, like, we really have to kind of, like, step it up and be like, you know what? You know you're not being a good friend. You should I've, 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 I've t- uh, sent them messages on, like, Instagram, like, oh, I'm going to go visit you guys soon. But, like, I, I definitely need to be a better friend. And I think we all need to have, like, that self-reflection of, like, of ourselves, of what, it, what we, we always want to say, like, what we expect from a friend. Like, I expect this of a friend. Expect, okay, but what are you doing as a person yeah. to be a better friend? You know what I mean? You, yeah, you can't just take, take, take. Like, you have to also know, like, what what should I, like, what, as Mari, you know, well, I can't use your example because you're my family and I love you. But, like, mm-hmm. Kosi, I'm going to use Kosi example. She's my family, too. But, like, Over my friend, top. like, Kosi, yeah. yeah, like, okay, like, yeah, I can say what I want from her. But, like, as Kosi, like, I'll talk to her, like, as a friend, what do you need more from me? Like, do you, yeah. I need to know, like, what, as a friend, what she wants. Does she want somebody to talk to, to listen to more, listen to her problems at work or listen to, you know, just things that's going on with her family or things like that? Or, you know, does she want quality time? Like, you, just like with your partners, you need to find out what your friendships yeah. require because not every friendship requires that much attention. Some people are very, like, low maintenance, and they're like, as long as I see you, I'm good. As long as you text me and you say how you're doing, like, I'm good. So you just find out what your friend needs from you, and you need to be that better friend for them, and males or yeah. females. See, and that's what I am. I'm the low-maintenance friend. I'm the type. I will say that. I can concur yeah. on that. You're really, <laughs> really chill, Dash. You are. Yeah. And but so, you're a good friend, too. Like, if people need you, you are there. Exactly. That's And that's exactly, um, you know, it's kind of like Batman. You know, when you need <laughs> Batman, you sign the oh, bat right. signal. Compare yourself up. to Batman. Yeah. I love it. I will say this, though. Like, 
ultimately, like, I wonder about, like, why women prefer men or why some men really do prefer women because I don't know, like, is it a guy thing, competency, or, like, do you will not want a lot of guy friends? You like the ma- female perspective. But I do agree that it, those kinds of things could be platonic. Like, you genuinely just appreciate who they are. You can think they're attractive because, yeah, I'm like, damn, she's beautiful, but you can still, like, genuinely want to be just their friends. I have a theory. Oh, God. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> so I agree with you with the uh, platonic friendship. So I'm speaking on a deeper level. I believe that for some women, I'm not going to generalize, some women prefer guy friends because they get into, they have their guy friends teach them how guys operate and move. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So like advice. Yes. Yeah. So that way, when they are searching for their partner or they feel like they're connecting with somebody, reach they'll have yep, they have their guy friends to reach out to or they already know from what their guys experience or how their guy guy friends treat other women. Yeah. That's definitely one theory and I agree with that. Also because a lot of like like for me, I have my brother. So if I had a question, I would ask my brothers. But there's many women in this world that don't have brothers, they don't have uncles, they don't even have dads. It's like maybe all mm-hmm. females in their family. So I feel like yes, I think some women do uh, get that male friendship for that reason to find out how men think or to get a different perspective from just you know you have the female you have want you want to know how the male thinks so right. uh, yeah I think some women but I will say there was a time in my college um, when I joined the sorority there was like this mean girl group in the in the sorority and um, not towards me I mean they were tw- mean they were just a mean girls section there was like four of them yeah and they felt like they controlled everybody but like I had a bad experience with them but luckily like I I have three sisters so like like those girls don't get to me because like I'm very confident who I am and I've already been my like you know I've been dragged up and down the house by my and sister Maria and they would whip ass but like they've given me that confidence as a woman that I'm like I don't need to like because their whole thing was like they wanted to control they're like don't hang out with that fraternity don't hang out with that fraternity yeah. and we I'm that type of girl and there was a group of us that were like we're gonna do whatever we want to do and they didn't like it whatever so I kind of had like a bad falling out with one of the, a group of the girls there when that happened, I was just like, man, fuck these girls, like, whatever, yeah. like, so I became really close with, that's when I became really close with my guy friends that I knew back in in middle school, and um, I got really close to them around that time, because I'm like, these girls are just shady, so I think sometimes girls do get close to males, because they had a bad experience with women, and and sometimes it doesn't end, sometimes it's like yearly, and like, or it's just like throughout their, their adolescent, or throughout their teenage life, or sometimes, like me, it was just one experience, and I'm like, it was during my college time and I was like oh my god like are all females really like this but obviously I know that they're not I know that they're not not all females are like that but (laughs) but those particular girls were like I mean they were your typical I don't want to throw shade but they were like from East LA they were cheerleaders they you know like I don't know like I just felt like they would thought they were all that in a bag of chips yeah they kind (laughs) of reminded me of that Netflix show um what's that the cheerleader show Uh, no that uh, it's um Bring Coast, it bring what's it. that Latino show? Eastside, Eastside, uh, that high school. Oh, West Side East, East, East Los High. high. Yeah. That was a Netflix show, and yeah, they kind of reminded me of those girls. Like casos de la vida real. <laughs> yeah, and so I'm like, I think a lot of the, I don't want to like, I'm just saying like, I think it's a different world from East LA girls from to the girls that live out here in, in Inglewood or Hawthorne like or South Bay area. Yeah, it's right. because I think it's more diverse out here, and I feel like it's just we're different. We. You know, we're not, nobody's better. I'm just saying it's just a different experience. So I was dealing with, and a lot of them were like Salvadorian and I'm Mexican. So it was just a lot. Like we were clashing, and I, you know me, I'm, I try to make it work, but they just weren't. And then I was like, all right, well, I'll, I'm out. I tried. I did my thing. I'm gonna take Myra a break from girls like, for a while. And so you know, and so that's why I became really close with my guy friends at that time. But never did I like block any girls out. Like that's how I have Kosi as my friend. I met her in college back in 2002. And she was part of the group that we were like, well, we're going to do whatever we want. We're not going to follow your mean girl cheerleading. Don't follow this fraternity. Like, no, like what? So it, it also has to do with that, too. Like you have a bad experience. So you end up getting closer to to males for some reason because you just like need a break from the drama. Because sometimes girls can be drama. Like I get it. We, we are emotional. And it's not a bad thing. It's good that we're emotional. We know how to communicate and share our emotions. But men just tend to be more ba- like not basic but like logical more like less like basic. feel not basic but like just like kind of like eh, like it's more so things are so much more like rational like rational like and simple and logical for you yeah, yeah. And, and can i say I this think it, all women are like that you get i mean most 
Yeah. yeah. And can I say this is that the older that you get, the more empowering you become to other women, right? Mm. This, these are things that you normally yeah, do in like your teens and twenties. And it's funny because Yareli had just said the same thing that women are drama, and I hate that they relate women. But with we don't want to say that. Right, like right. That. we don't want to say. Don't that, say that. My name is Maria, and I'm not like the, that. At the, <laughs> no. age, at the young age, that's what like. you think. I hang out with men more because women are drama. However, Sandra did just remind us about something that my mom used to always said, say. That when you are in a relationship, there are no guy friends and there are no girl friends. It's just you and your husband. And that's it. Because well, we're in a different husband. vibe. We're Keyword, in a word, husband. I husband. Know. I know. Husband. No <laughs> ring, no ring, all friends. Yep. And we're in a different Keyword. time from when they grew up. We're I in a know, different time. Mom, that's what Santa just put in the chat. And that's what my mom, you know, used to always say. And, and I think um, going to the cultural thing, like, I think a lot of women, like, especially uh, Mexican, Latina women, are raised with those same perspectives so like they're trying to find fight their identity yeah. and they're trying to be like oh no i could be friends with with males so it's like that cultural like standard that has been set to them that's really hard to like break from or break right. away from it and i agree i agree and you know there are a couple people that agree with sandra as uh, that agree with sandra i did put that i agree to a certain extent However, I do ask my coworkers about these questions before I come on air. And one of my coworkers, um, it's a male, and he said that he doesn't really believe in that. He just believes in the relationship and the trust that there is in the relationship and the respect to having uh, uh, friends of the opposite sex. So I do agree with that 100%. It's all about the relationship that you create mm -hmm. and the respect level that you have between relationships. Cozy's looking at me crazy. 100% you agree with that? 100 I, I do. Yeah. I do. Mm. At this point in my life, I do. You know, I, I am yeah. in my 40s, well, and I do agree you know. with that. Maybe if you would have asked me that when I was in my 20s, yep. I would have probably disagreed because, you know, I was a little bit more jealous, but I, I would have disagreed. I think the older you get, the more yes. you experience yep. what you've been through in yep. life and with, you know, relationships and relationships and friendships that you, you know, experience throughout life, you start understanding, you yes. start trusting your yourself, you start believing in yourself. A lot of women, and I know a few, I'm related to one who, <laughs> <sighs> she is a mess. Her boyfriend cannot even have co-worker friends. It's like, you know, oh, he wow. gets home from work, yeah. and if it's 2 40, 12 45 and he gets off at midnight, no, it takes you 32 minutes to get from here to here. Why are you here at 1245? Oh, no. But it's also no. probably but, from things that she experienced exactly, from past but relationships. It, yeah. not only but past she's taking that into yes, her new Jackie, relationship. I was just going to oh, no. say yes. that. Not only – so here's the thing. My theory is you've been in a relationship. It didn't work out. You learned from it. Yeah. You mm -hmm. should, especially right. especially if you were in it for a long time, you should, or if sometimes it takes people a lot of relationships to actually learn and grow, but you should know what didn't work for you and what you want and what won't work for you or what will work for you. And sometimes people just like a hard life. I don't, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> so, I mean, this is a whole different conversation, yeah. a whole yeah. different topic. I just want to really quick and talk about the, the part where Yadeli said that women, all women are drama. And I just want to say, I get it. Like, Yadeli, I've been in that place yeah. where women Me can too. be a little bit drama. But what I will tell you this, and I hope you take away, what you need to find is the people that are going to accept you for you and find your girl squad. Find your girls that are going to, you know, just... You haven't found your girl squad yet. So for now, you can yes, be a part of ours yes. until you find your own. Know, you and you know you're my cousin. You're always going to be there. Yeah. I'm always going to be here for you. And I'll be your guy squad. And, and, guy and squad. don't feel bad <laughs> if you don't click with everybody. Because right. your personality is probably not for everybody. Exactly. It takes, yep. And it took and a lot. Of, I don't strong. have a lot of friends. Jackie is one of my closest friends. And Jackie <laughs> has a ton of friends because her personality is it's awesome. She's so inviting. She's so welcoming. Me, on the other hand, it takes me a while to open up to people. And once Jackie and I clicked, it's like, you know, she can't get rid of me. Ever. <laughs> like, you're stuck with me. But that's, that's everybody's but different. Exactly. So that's great advice, Myra. So, I like that. Make yeah. sure you guys just find out who you are and find out what you like. And then find your group of people. And, you, and you're going to find the girls that are for you. Trust me. It's, um, you true. need to have girls in your corner. It's, it's honestly, I love having my guy friends. But there's nothing like my girls yeah. that, I, that can take that place. Uh, really quick, I want to go in the chat box because I know we're going to have to wrap up soon. Uh, but... Um, Anna says, honestly, the question is, can uh, they be friends without having some attraction? Is that what I'm supposed to read? 
Oh, I'm yes, sorry. Irma. Um, Irma. Mexican mamas think that um, way because men will more likely pursue that friend as potential sexual romantic partners. Like when they can't have right. friends. Like you're trying to cut them off. As Latinas, we want to cut our men off from any But that's a lot of old school friend. mentality too. And I and also there are some guys that still think like that. Yes, I do. But that's why I think like you that's why you really have to get to know your partner before you make them your partner. Yeah. Don't just get in, Don't just get into a relationship just because you feel that's what society wants you to be have a boyfriend then you're or you're going to be working too right. hard trying to stop it's, your man yeah. from being who he actually is. So figure out who you want and what right. you want. You know, because if that's who he is and if he has girlfriends to pursue them, then you can make a decision. You either want to be in that and work to try to change him or, you know, move right. on. Right. And I just want to shout out to Tia Carmen, who was just <laughs> able to log on and has been commenting since she logged on. Hey, she Tia. agrees with hey. you, Jackie. She really agrees with what you had said. Also, Lily says that she blames novelas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, novelas. Always Rebelde, <laughs> Teresa, they always have a factor Ruby. in this. Ruby. Yes. You know, it's a love story that we just. Rosa we de just Guadalupe. <laughs> Um, so I know that uh, we can definitely keep going with this topic. I love it. But we do have to go into the next segment. Um, so let me go ahead and finish this. And if you guys want us to continue it, then we will. But for now, we're going to end it right here. Bookmark it for another show. All right. So our this? next segment is going into the Spanish word of the day led by Yay. our co-host, Woo, Mari on the Mari. mic. Finally, you guys let me have some time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so for your um, Espanol word of the day, it is pilas, spelled P-I-L-A-S. <laughs> pilas. You forgot so the accent. I know. Pi- <laughs> I did I? Pilas. Pilas. Well, I? I? You got it. You got yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. There is a lot of accent words. Uh, I mean, <laughs> accent marks, though. Pilas does mean batteries in Spanish, but the way that I want you all to learn it and to use it is in the statement that's ponte las pilas. Again, that's ponte las pilas, which is really just get your shit together. <laughs> just put in your effort. Get ready. Be ready. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Yes. So for all my people out there listening in L.A. and anywhere else, ponte las pilas. Ponte las pilas. Thank you for joining us. Use that word at Madi dot on the mic. Let me know. Hashtag. Woot, pilas. Woot. <laughs> ponte las pilas. Ponte las pilas. Yes. pilas. Tell somebody pilas. that when hey. you see them not not all the way together. <laughs> Wait, Dash, say it hey. one more time. Ponte las pilas. Hey. 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 Suave. Suavemente. Okay, el escrespo. Oh, that's right. I okay. almost wanted to go on tune. Suavemente. Besame. Yo quiero okay, sentir tus brazos. Besando tus brazos. You said labios. Hey, both, both, both. I want both. It's labios. We want both. <laughs> <It's> labios. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Today's quote of the day is uh, by the one and only Oprah Winfrey. She goes, if friends disappoint you over and over, that's in large part your own fault. Once someone has shown a tendency to be self-centered, you need to recognize that and take care of yourself. People aren't going to change simply because you want them to. You better tell them. I love it. Auntie (laughs) Oprah. (laughs) Yes. All right. So, you know, we got a quick sign off. So we're going to go around. Go ahead, Maria. uh, Say your name, your IG, whatever you want. All right. So I don't have a name, but if you have my. I'm going to give you just 30 seconds, girl. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. For real. I'm going to give you a time limit. She's going to start singing like American Idol. I'm going to take Cerritos 30 because he said he doesn't want to talk. What? But for (laughs) real, if you guys think of a name for me, I know that my name is Chavela Maria, Crazy Maria, however you guys want to see me. Oh, my God. Shoot me out. You know, on my Instagram, uh, Chabelita Me, um, or my Facebook, Maria Cole. Um, and let me know what you guys think. What do you think my next my name should be? And I got a gig now. You know, I'm on the mic. Also, I call. I do got a gig. Hey, my Friday night. I told my daughter that I was coming over here. I'm sorry. I'm like hitting on the. I'm, I'm just. I talk with my hands. <laughs> but um, I told my daughter that I was coming over here. She's like, Mom, give me a shout out. So shout out to Angelica and Ivan because hey, he was there. Uh, little Davian. Um, so shout out to you guys. Mommy will be home soon. You better um, shout a out little your, later than soon. You better but, shout out all your children but yeah yeah, well they asked me for the shout out but i want to give a huge shout out to uh, my other two oldest alexis who's coming out from uh alabama state i can't wait to see her i haven't seen her since august i thought that was supposed to be a surprise 
Oh, uh-oh. Wow. Well, no, 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 no. Wow. Wow. To hey, some. 30 to seconds, 30 seconds. They don't seconds, know that she's coming 30 out 30 in seconds. December. To some. Don't count my time You're going to be down. muted. Beep, you know you're beep, my favorite. Beep. Don't mute oh, me. Wow, I will jump over mind. this. Never mind. But go, otherwise, go, go. Um, I'm just happy to be on the show. Um, yes. In case Jackie hasn't mentioned it, I got a little seat here that's official. That is my seat. Water I'm going to put own the clean class. head. <laughs> my water's here. You know, my wine is here when I get here. Just kidding. <laughs> but for real, I can't wait till it starts um, looking like that. Whoa, but, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. You're on probation still, honey. You got 30-day probation. Yeah. Oh, you're on probation too? Let me tell you. <laughs> let me t- well, yeah, technically. But let me tell you. I was here 10 minutes before everybody else. Kosi's like, where are you? You were like, not. Oh, girl's here on time. Cerritos was here before I everybody. just didn't know oh, that here. people were in. Inside it, because I was looking inside it, inside the building. I was looking for your car. Keep going. I was looking. I could keep going. This could turn into the the Maria show. No, don't mute it. I love you guys. All right. I love you guys. (laughs) She got muted and then found another way. She is not a quitter. Mama didn't raise no quitter. Did you just meet somebody? Yes. No. (laughs) Maria, I'm so sorry. Can you stop? All right. Maria, out. She said she's out. Bet y'all heard her. I'm so sorry, guys. All right. uh, Louise, go ahead and say a few words or. I Where mean, can they find you? Se puso las pilas. So Man, se puso got, you got to give her props for that. You know, you, she's hustling over here. <laughs> um, before, oh, my God. Can you stop hugging him? <laughs> before, um, <laughs> before, before I get off, uh, I want to say sorry, Jackie. Okay. I mean, just didn't want to take a shot. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. You remembered. Yeah. You could have said dash. I oh, mean, I can be I didn't a know that. Yeah, that yeah, would have been the cop out answer right there. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too late. Yeah. It's not too late. <laughs> I'll take it back. Okay. Dash. All right, I, I got to take a shot. Just because just you're not single. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, thanks All right. for having me. Uh, do you want to give a quick shout out? I mean, your Instagram again? Um, L underscore Cerritos. Awesome. Ladies, L, you guys can find them on there. Oh, and for the ladies, are you single, Luis? Let's leave that a mystery. Uh, he said DM him to find out. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> leave that message on scene. All right. Dash, let him know what's good. I go by the name of DJ Dash. Thank you for having me. I really enjoy myself. And you have the wild turkey on deck, so Yay. definitely appreciate that. You know uh, me. I got my whiskey. Hey. Follow me on Instagram at senor underscore dash, S-E-N-O-R underscore dash, D-A-S-H. And if anybody wants that Hollywood treatment, definitely feel free to hit me up and come to Playhouse Hollywood. You'll get a free table. And he'll take care Bottles. of you. He took care of me and Myra last time. Yes. We did, we sat the whole time. We had the drinks. Yeah, Myra had shots to her, to her face. Oh, waterfall shots. Waterfall shots. <laughs> you guys did that to me, man. So, I mean, I just want to d- definitely take time right now, Dasha, to, to thank you for coming. Like, I think um, we you know about the good news. We've yeah. started this from the way basement. back in the basement when this this what took place in somebody's house, Keith's house, in the basement. Like, yep. literally, it was Keith, Dash, me, and Robbie D. And we would literally move the couch so our guests guests can have be comfortable Man. and it was just a, a show it was just a radio show that we that Keith started and we just kind of grew to it and now it's a station and we got station. shows on there and, and now have I have show. my own show you have your own show oh my god dash like, isn't that crazy you have your own show <laughs> yeah. thank like, you thank your you dream, like you're we're in your dream right now. Yeah. thank you no uh, I <laughs> I literally am living my dream right now it's really impressive yeah. Yeah. it is it's crazy really <laughs> and dash has been seeing it like I think you saw how nervous I was I'm like guys are you sure I'm ready I don't know if I'm ready to have my own show. 100%. And you sent me an amazing text. You were like, yes, you got it. You're you're going to do great. You're awesome. And I just want to thank you for that because you definitely gave me a lot of um – a lot of confidence and before my first show, and I, I wanted to thank you for that. Aww. So I had to have you here hey. on my third show. So, Dash, you have become a friend of mine, too, as well, yes. and I love you. Guy squad. You're my bro <laughs> now, hermano. Hey, hermano. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you guys want uh, to be at Playhouse, uh, hit up my uh, brother right here, Dash. He will hook you up. Trust me, he will take care of you. He is a man of his word. So Playhouse Hollywood is popping. Uh, and now my girl Farfan, say what's up. Say, say a few words. Where can Hi. they find you? Uh, just Instagram. Give us your address. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Mira, M-E-E-R-A-H, the number eight, you know, like Kobe. And that's it. That's all like I got. Kobe. Hi, guys. Go, Go Lakers. Kobe. Hey. That's right. That's why I love her. Clippers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> got to the sound effects on that one. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. I am Maddie. You can find me at um, at Maddie dot on the mic 
all together. Um, thank you for tuning in. We love you. We love your comments. You keep us entertained. We are here for you. Just wishing you the best weekend and the greatest Thanksgiving. Much love to you. Growth, peace, prosperity, good food, all of that. Take care of you. Be the best you. Awesome. Thank you, Madi. And, of course, I have to let my girl Kosi on the mic real quick. Kosi, say hi to everybody. You are working so hard in the background taking pictures of everybody. Um, hey. 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 <laughs> Where can they find you, Kosi, on Instagram? Um, at call me Miss Grant. M-I-S-S. That's so right. Call me Miss Grant. Kosi is my official producer of the show. She makes everything happen behind the scenes that you don't see. So I want to give a shout out to her. Yes. She puts it down. She makes all the magic Thank happen. You. Yes. No, for real. She is the best producer I could have asked for. And so thank you, Kosi. Great. She makes great whiskey and ginger ale. She yeah. does. She does. He said you make Bartender. great whiskey drinks and ginger ale. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes. Well, thank you guys for being here and spending your Friday night with us. Um, we see you. We appreciate you. You are t uh, listening to ladies. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yes. Did you have something to say? I'm muted. Oh, my God. Yes. All right. I just want to make sure that I do the ending with you. Okay. So Guys, can you please, like, let her know not to mute me throughout the show? Thank who you. Who are you talking to? Our listeners, the oh. people that listen to me. Okay. They said you don't, you don't need a mic, they said. <laughs> they said you don't need Can Can I have my but outro the, now? Okay. Can, Go, sister. You totally interrupted my outro. I just want to make sure wow. that I'm on so I can help you out with your outro. Okay. All right, dear Lord. This is we love I, you. Can't wait to hear you from you guys next Friday. And, yes, I have middle child syndrome for this exact reason. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like I was saying, thank you for spending your Friday night. I know you couldn't be listening to her or watching her or doing anything else, but you chose to be here with us, and I appreciate you. I see you. Yes. I love you guys. I'm very grateful for this opportunity and for you guys all. I am your host, Mysterious Jax. This is Ladies Night Radio Show. And just remember one thing, ladies. You, you are, are enough. enough. Woo! Woo! We love you. Yeah. Party time. Yeah, yeah.